Our top story tonight, officials have released the name of the man who died during a shootout in Yellowstone National Park. The Park County Wyoming coroner has identified the suspect as Samson Lucas Bariah Fuzner from Florida. The incident happened last Wednesday night at Canyon Village. Fuzner was making threats and officials say shots were fired between him and law enforcement rangers. A park ranger was injured. The FBI is leading the investigation. Three people have been arrested in connection to a homicide in Twin Falls. On July 3rd, officers responded to the Fawnbrook apartments for a report of shots fired. Miguel Garza was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound and died. In the following days, investigators identified and located all the vehicles and people involved in the crime. Dustin Molino was arrested and charged with murder, aggravated assault, destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence, burglary, grand theft, and auto theft. Robert Vila was arrested and charged with conspiracy, and Karina Martinez is charged with auto theft. The investigation is ongoing. Emergency personnel responded to a house fire in Jackson, Wyoming. This happened Sunday around 5 a.m. in the area of East Horse Creek Road. A caller reported a fire in the kitchen. When officials arrived, they found heavy smoke coming from the kitchen window. Crews suppressed the fire and contained it to a small area in the kitchen. There were no injuries. An investigation is ongoing. All right, let's get a first look at our weather tonight. So we go to East Santa Cruz Chief Meteorologist Doug Iverson. Doug. Hello there, Miss I know today seems like it's pretty hot out there. Well, it's going to get worse. In fact, dangerously hot here starting tomorrow. As a matter of fact, we have a heat advisory for most of East Idaho and the hot pink area is what they call an excessive heat warning. So we're talking serious business. Do what you can to protect yourself. We'll have some tips on that here a little bit later. 95 currently in Idaho Falls, 96 right now in Pocatello. Not quite as warm for you, American Falls. Thank goodness for the reservoir there. 86 degrees currently in Arco, you're at 94. Evening tracker will be in the mid 90s, still at 6 o'clock. Still in the 90s at 8 o'clock, but we will cool off. A comfortable 76 at 10 o'clock with a clear sky. Misty. All right, thank you, Doug. Governor Brad Little and Secretary of State Phil McGrain have announced an executive action to ensure voting remains free of non-citizens. Governor Little signed the Only Citizens Will Vote Act to protect election integrity, voter confidence, and the sanctity of voting. The executive order directs several actions, including ensuring processes are in place to validate voter registration. The voter rolls will be routinely reviewed to identify any potential non-citizens. The Secretary of State will coordinate with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to verify citizenship status. An annual report will be provided to the governor and legislature that will detail county clerk's efforts to prevent and remove non-citizens from voter rolls. And state agencies will not provide voter registration materials to non-citizens. My executive order, the Only Citizens Will Vote Act, directs Secretary of State Phil McGrain to work with local county clerks to scrub our voter rolls to make sure there are zero illegal immigrants registered to vote in Idaho. Across Idaho's 44 counties, we have excellent mechanisms in place to ensure that non-citizens do not register to vote in Idaho. But there is always more we can do to ensure that only citizens will vote. Pocatello Mayor Brian Blatt and the City Council will be hosting a town hall meeting. This is coming up July 23rd from 6 to 7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers. City officials will be updating the public on wildfire safety, defensible space programs, and summer conditions. Following the update, there will be an open period for comments and questions. Speakers must sign up before 6 p.m. The sign-up sheet will be placed on the entry table by 5.30 p.m. The meeting will be available to watch the next day on the City's YouTube channel. Eastern Idaho Public Health is providing subgrants to organizations working to combat the opioid crisis in Eastern Idaho. The funding is thanks to opioid settlements from drug makers and major pharmaceutical distributors. EIPH aims to award $70,000 in grants. To be eligible for funding, organizations must align with the approved opioid abatement strategies of the Idaho Attorney General's Office. More details are available on EIPH's website. The Idaho Cancer Center at Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center has received the gold standard of accreditation. It's for radiation oncology and was awarded by the American College of Radiology. This is the second time ERMAC has received the accreditation. It is also the only cancer care provider in Idaho to get that designation. The accreditation means ERMAC maintains and properly uses technology advanced treatment methods, follows radiation safety protocols, and provides correct dosing of radiation. 
A local farmer's market is hosting a family event this month. The Portna Valley Farmer's Market in Pocatello is hosting their annual family fun days at Lookout Point. That event will be Saturday, July 20th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. There will be a petting zoo, bouncy houses, princesses, live music, and an extra food truck. Ellen Loomis, the Portna Valley Farmer's Market Manager, says it's one of their most popular events of the year. I think it, it really invites the kids and kind of makes it a fun thing to do at the farmer's market. Um, families come down and then it, when they bring them again and they don't see a bouncy house, the kids still have fun because there's a nice playground here. And it, it's just a good way to get kids started on, on the farmer's market tradition. The farmer's market runs every Saturday through October 26th. Still to come on KPVN News at 5, local officials are encouraging everyone to be safe amid extreme heat. Details coming up. First, let's check back in with Doug Iverson. Doug. Well, no extreme heat yet, yeah, yeah, at least in Yellowstone, where temperatures are pretty comfortable. We're in the 70s, a good 20 degrees cooler than here. Shade down low, shade up high in the way of clouds, and we're definitely going to need that shade as it heats up even more. Forecast is next. You're watching KPVI News at 5 with Matt Davenport, Misty England, and East Idaho's Chief Meteorologist, Doug Iverson. KPVI News at 5, news that works for you. Do you have a news tip or comment? Post it to the KPVI Facebook page. Sometimes less is more, and the grass is actually greener in your own backyard. Cole Chevrolet calls this finding your way of living great. Who says you need to keep up with the Joneses and buy into the latest trends? Go where you want to go and be what you want to be. The opportunities in East Idaho are endless. You may not find oceans and skyscrapers in East Idaho, but we've got everything it takes to live great. Cole Chevrolet. Live great. You've probably heard about Ozempic and Wagovi. People are seeing amazing weight loss results, but these drugs can cost thousands of dollars a month. At Bell Medical, we partner with compounding pharmacies to get the same active ingredients as Ozempic and Wagovi, but at a fraction of the price. Get all the benefits of these life-changing medications for $2.49 a month for a limited time only. Bell Medical is your trusted partner in weight loss. Sign up now so we can pass the savings on to you. Schedule a free consultation at bellmedical.com. When you're ready to have some fun, don't let anything slow you down, especially high credit card fees. With Westmark Credit Union, you can have all the fun you want when you want. With our new Buy Now, Pay Later option built right into your checking account, you're just a couple clicks away from spreading those debit charges into monthly installments that's right for you. It's the flexibility you need with the customized payment plan you deserve. So have fun with Westmark Credit Credit Union's new Buy Now, Pay Later option. Westmark Credit Union is with you every step of the way. Fresh, brawny, bold. No matter how you say it, the summer deals at Modern Home have never been bigger. You can't afford to miss Modern Home's big summer deals just east of Kohl's in Ammon. Dealing with a backed up drain can be costly. Here at Advanced Home Services, we can clear any drain, any time for just $29. Because our main priority is helping our customers with their home comfort without breaking the bank. Contact Advanced Home Services today. Like us on Facebook and join the conversation right now. And now, Storm Tracker Weather with East Idaho's Chief Meteorologist, Doug Iverson. What's next? Well, the temperatures are going to keep rising over the next several days. You're not going to like the seven day uh, if you see it here in just a moment, unless, of course, you like triple digit weather. We certainly have that on the way. And the reason for the heat. Heat dome, high pressure, and it's moving east, which means it will just get even hotter for East Idaho before it starts to cool off, if you want to call going from triple digits to the oh, mid-90s cooling off. At least it won't be quite as hot by the latter half of the weekend. But until then, you're just going to have to endure. You do the best you can to stay cool. It will be slightly milder tonight than it was last night, so we're keeping some of that heat around into the overnight. Pocatello will stay in the mid-60s, at least in town. Idaho Falls at 54, mid-50s in St. Anthony as well. Uh, mostly clear for the Central Mountains. A few clouds out there this evening. Those should burn off later on. Low temperatures tonight ranging from the lower 40s to the upper 50s. Mackey, you're looking at a low of 58 degrees, and we'll call it partly cloudy. 
for the upper highlands and western Wyoming. Showed you the weather window for Yellowstone. You see a few extra clouds around there. It looks like it's trying to rain just to the, I would say, east of Yellowstone Lake. So some showers too with those showers. That would be nice here in the next several days once we get heat up a bit more. Dubois at 58 degrees. And then tonight for the southeast highlands, Incom, you're 53 tonight. Low in Montpelier, you'll be the coolest spot, 49. That's still warmer than usual in Preston. You'll stay in the mid-50s, the heart of uh, Franklin County, almost 100 tomorrow, almost 100 in the southern end of Bannock County at Downey, and 95 will be the high temperature at Incom. Even warmer in the upper highlands, I guess you could say it, say hotter, especially for places like Jackson, where they're not definitely not used to 90, and they're going to see that tomorrow. Mid-90s in the middle of Clark County, 94 in Dubois, and then there's that heat advisory for the Central Mountains, that's not just tomorrow, but it goes all the way into Saturday. High of 100 in Salmon, near 100 in Chalice. Look at Stanley. Wow, lower 90s. Wouldn't be surprised if we start breaking records if we haven't already. Heat advisory for the Snake River playing tomorrow, near 100 in Idle Falls, right at 100 in Pocatello. American Falls will have a high of 100 degrees. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast, and that heat advisory just keeps on going with those triple digits. 102 Friday. We like 102 so much, we're going to see it again whether we like it or not on Saturday. And then there's the cooler. I know it's not much, but it'll be 97. And we got some extra clouds, extra shade in the sky. That'll take the edge off. And then we're in the mid-90s, still quite hot Monday and Tuesday. At least right now, it doesn't look like triple digits will go past Saturday. Now, for the Teton area, we'll call it hot. You'll be in the 90s for the next four days. Then coming out of the weekend, like the rest of us, not quite so toasty, mostly cloudy on Sunday, with a high of 88, backing off a bit more temperature-wise Monday and Tuesday. And for the Central Mountains, Salmon, Chalice, and Mackey, heat advisory all the way through Saturday. Hottest day will be Friday. We'll top out at 101 degrees, and then we're a good 10 degrees cooler. On Sunday, 90, I think 90 is a little more tolerable than 101. You've got some extra clouds. We'll call it mostly cloudy. We get a little sunny with highs in the lower 90s as we start off the next work week. Now, brainstormers today, part two. We talked about Pocatello yesterday. Well, what's the hottest temperature on record for July in Idaho Falls? You've got three choices, 100, 102, or 104. Well, the answer later on.